Hey Soul Friends, Soul Fam, it's Marie and welcome into another reading for my Cancer family. I hope you are doing well and staying safe. Please do check your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs if you would like more clarification. Remember the energies can be reversed and keep in mind that this is a general reading so it may or may not resonate with you. But if it does, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to our Soul Family and if you would like you can help support the channel to keep these videos coming your way way. All right, Cancer, looking into the person that you are dealing with and or thinking about, right off the bat with these few cards that we have here with the Hermit, the Ace of Cups, right? Then we have the Three of Wands, the Fool, the King of Pentacles, and the Temperance, which is the energy between you and this person. And right now it's really looking like two people who are not in contact, two people who are distant from each other and who are really just focused on the new, focused on manifesting something new, existing in the new. It really does seem like, you know, you and this person with the Hermit card being their energy, they're completely silent, they're completely needing to be within, needing to go inward, possibly to become a better person, to do some introspection, or just because they just can't be present here. And then your energy is one of just like starting over. You have the full card and the three of wands. So you really are truly starting over, laying a different foundation. You're just building a new life for yourself. And then the full card, you know, you really are starting over in life and even in love. With the king of pentacles and the temperance card, these two right here... Let me know that you both are focusing on yourselves, focusing on finding that security, providing for yourselves physically, financially, emotionally. You're not really relying on each other anymore because you're probably not really in communication. And if you are, it's just, it's not like it used to be. And with the temperance, this is letting me know that you both are in a state of just finding that balance, finding that balance that you've needed and support that you've needed in your life that maybe you didn't get from this person. I feel like this person over here, this person that you're dealing with is like focused on expressing themselves in a way that they feel that they feel good. They are focused on their finances and their career, whereas I feel like you are so focused on feeling safe within your own skin cancer and feeling safe in love, like feeling safe to love again. And I feel like this might have been a situation where it was a bit one-sided. It was either they were giving too much and you weren't giving enough or they weren't giving enough and you were giving too much. But that's definitely the energy that we're feeling that I'm feeling going into this. And even with the moon card on the bottom of the deck, it's like there, there are emotions here and I still feel emotions here, but they're so pushed down and they're so under the surface that you just wouldn't know that they were actually here. All right, so let's dive a little bit deeper into this. All right. How does this person feel towards you? We have the Eight of Cups and then we have the Three of Pentacles. Water energy here and Earth energy. This person feels this this need to walk away. Either they feel like you're walking away from them or they feel this need to walk away from you. I feel like there is still love here. Like if you're walking away, they still love you. If they're walking away, they still love you. Like they still think about you. They still are curious about what, what what's going on. Even if you had the last word and they didn't respond, it's like they still have feelings, you know? Like they still... I feel like wish that things would have worked out, that you guys could have been a team. I feel like just alone with the three of pentacles, that this could have been a third party situation. But they do still feel for you. Like it's not that they don't feel anything, no matter who is the one who's walking away. But I do feel like they do feel this need that they, you know, that they need to just walk away for now. Although they do wish to possibly reconcile in the future and or that you guys just would have worked out in general, just at overall. For you, we have the Three of Swords and the Seven of Wands for how you feel towards them, Cancer. And I, I, 
just these two cards. We have air energy and fire energy. You're a little bit hurt. And I feel like you might have been a little bit taken back from this situation, from this person, and maybe even their actions. Because maybe they were saying all of these things and trying to do all of these things. And then all of a sudden, everything that they said and everything that they did changed. And they kind of became someone different. And you needed to do what you needed for you. You needed to support yourself. You needed to start over. You needed to clear the decks. And I feel like you've done that. Whether or not, you know, you were the one who walked away, like, you know, you knew deep inside, like, okay, I need to do something for me. And I feel like you're still a little bit hurt. And I feel like you also know that this person is a little more trouble than it's worth. Like, this connection is a little more trouble than it's worth. Because maybe you are the one who was really putting in all of that work. Remember, this can be vice versa, so take it how it resonates. But... You're, you don't feel too much love. It's more so like, okay, I need to protect myself and I need to focus on myself and build myself back up and love myself in a way that I didn't get because now I have three swords in my heart and this is just verifying to me that for some of you, this was a third party, like a love triangle situation. And you needed to really detach from the situation in order to find yourself again in order to find your balance again. Mm. The next few cards we have nine of swords in reverse and the three of cups looking into how they we just looked into how they feel and how you feel moving into what they want. What does this person want? Because you can feel all you want, right? You can feel like, okay, I need to walk away. But what is it that you truly desire? What is it that they hope for? And to be honest, this is somebody who thinks about you a lot. This is somebody who dreams about you. This could be a twin flame situation where you guys have always kind of been like on again, off again. And now that I'm looking at the cards, you know, the hermit and the ace, and then the three of wands and the fool. So it's kind of like starting and stopping and starting and stopping. And you guys come back together and it's like you guys didn't miss a beat. And then it just suddenly ends without warning. And it's like you kind of both saw it coming and you both need to leave for you. But do you really want to? And I feel like you guys separate in order to grow spiritually and then kind of come back together when it needs to be done again. And then it's kind of like a cycle. I don't know. That might have resonated for somebody. But this is a person. They think about you. And they want the nightmares to end. They want the restlessness to end. They want the anxiety and maybe even a sense of like depression to end. They don't want to feel it anymore. And then after that card, we have the Three of Cups. So they do want a sense of like friendship with you. They do. If this is a love triangle situation, they kind of just want everybody to get along. Like they kind of just want everybody in their life. Like they just, they don't want to say no to one person and yes to another. And risk losing anyone. But I feel like they did, even though that's not what they wanted. They did lose someone, even though that's not what they wanted. Because, you know, sometimes you can't have it all. Not everybody's going to get along. Maybe somebody chose their friends over you. Or they chose their boyfriend over you. You know what I mean? Like, this could resonate on just a friendship level as well. But this is someone who does want to be friends. They want that understanding. They want that, that circle of support and love. And they don't want to feel that pain that they are feeling because of this distance. Because of you two just not being together anymore. At least the way that you used to be. Let's look at what you want. So we have the Five of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune as the first two. And then we have the Strength card here. Cancer, 
you want major change. The drama that happened or the chaos that was caused, whether it was internal or external, you want it to change. Like you want it to stop. You want major change moving forward. And I really do feel like you want support. You want that support. You want that strength. You want to be able to stand in your inner power and have someone who supports you, who loves you, who puts you first and is like, you know, no matter what comes my way, you're a priority. That's what you want. Like, you don't want this five of wands energy. You're like, I've had it for so long. I don't want it. Take that away. I don't want that energy. Major change. You want major change moving forward. And if you're not going to get it from that person, I feel like you're taking your power and you're moving elsewhere. Their future actions towards you is the nine of pentacles, earth energy, followed by the page of wands. And then the world card. I feel like this is someone who is probably going to keep to themselves for a while. Their future actions towards you isn't them moving towards you. Like I feel like they're going to be with themselves for a while. Figuring it out, getting themselves together, going on adventures, spending time with other people in other circles. But I see them being gone for, for a bit. After that little bit, will they come back around? It's possible that they might come back around to give you the world. But for the most part, I do see them spending a lot of time with themselves and in whatever situation that they're in right now as well. Your future actions towards them is the High Priestess and the Four of Swords in reverse. So your future actions towards them is you keeping to yourself as well. Like, yes, are you going to be thinking about it? Are you going to have moments where you want to speak up and you want to say something? Yes, but I do see you choosing to not go there because you're like, I don't need to be the only one fighting. Is it really worth fighting for? I don't see you making that choice of like, I'm going to be the only one fighting for this, so let me go back in. I see you having moments where, yeah, you... You are going to be a bit restless over it. You're going to want to not be silent anymore. But then I feel like you're going to use your head over your heart and you're going to choose yourself and your sanity above all else. What's stopping this connection from moving forward? Mm. All right, we have the Ten of Cups coming out first with the Ace of Swords. And four other cards after that. What's interesting to me is what's stopping this connection from moving forward is the fact that either you're in a relationship with someone else or they're in a relationship with someone else. Or they're moving towards that. Like, someone here has started over somewhere else like they they could have moved they're in a relationship already and there's just not enough clarity there's not enough honesty i feel like to be honest someone here doesn't view the other person as a priority they view this person probably views you as an option or you view them as an option and so you just feel it's best to just not be together to be silent. I feel like there's just not enough clarity. There's not enough support. There's not enough celebration of the other person. And and really understanding and, and truly acknowledging value. So like they're probably not valuing you as highly as they should be or the other way around. And that's the problem. I feel like someone here is in a relationship or is like moving towards that and they're like and there's just not enough honesty like as far as feelings 
as far as what you want, what they want. It's just, it's, everything is under the surface with this moon card. All right, most likely outcome is the Ten of Swords, the Devil, and the King of Cups. Ten of Swords, which means that if there hasn't been an ending, there will be. But at the same time, someone here isn't going to let it go. Like someone here is still going to be pretty attached to you. I feel like they're probably going to be pretty attached to you. Or you both might just be attached to each other. Like I said, Twin Flame Energy. So... I see an ending, most likely outcome, attachment and obsession still being there, like you two still being tied to each other in some way, a soul connection still existing. Whether or not it's the healthiest is, you know, it varies per situation. So you know if your situation is healthy or not. And then I also see you continuing to use your head over your heart. You know, although there was an ending, you might feel this, this soul attachment. They might feel this soul attachment. You're both... Or at least you are going to use your head over your heart for sure. Moving forward. Will you be together again? Mm. Ace of Cups. Yeah. We had that Ace of Cups energy coming back out. And we had the Ace of Cups right here. I, I see it starting up again. I see someone and I'm, it's probably going to be them. Because they had the Ace of Cups in their energy in the beginning of the read. Them coming out and telling you how they really feel. Them coming out and opening that door again. Them coming out and starting something. You know, the Ace is the beginning. So it would just begin again after that ending. After that Ten of Swords. It will begin again. You know, it might not be right away. Because their future actions is them being with themselves for a while. But I do. I do see them. Yeah, I do. I do see you guys being together again, coming back together again in some capacity. It's going to be slow. It would be slow, but it, it, yeah, no. Ace of, Ace of Cups is a definite yes. Ace of Cups is a definite yes for that. You know, whether that's a year, whether that's five years, you know. All right, so the rest of this reading is going to be for those who are in no communication. All right, so why is there no communication from them? We have the King of Cups. Oh my God, that King of Cups just keeps coming out. King of Cups and the Nine of Wands. So this person is using their head over their heart. They're kind of pushing down their emotions. They're sitting on them, if you can see in the King of Cups card. Like, it's sitting on all that turbulent, all those turbulent emotions, all those turbulent feelings. And they're protecting themselves. They're, they're, they're protecting themselves. Possibly because they don't feel safe to come forward. They don't feel ready to come forward. But they're choosing to, like, guard their emotions at all costs. Which is why they're not communicating with you right now. All right, why aren't you communicating with them? All right, keep pulling, keep pulling. All right, so Jesus, for you, Cancer, I feel like you're not communicating because you're just done. <laughs> to be honest, like you're just done. You're like, I, I need support. I need passion. I need love. And I'm done with the immaturity. So I'm going to go find someone who's going to love me, who's going to be my prince or princess charming, who's going to commit to me, who's going to be loyal to me, who's going to marry me, who's going to be devoted and mature. Yeah, I just feel like you're just done. For you, Cancer, you're done with the kind of person because I feel like maybe you guys just weren't vibrating on the same level. And so you're like, I'm going to find to find that person, to find that tribe, to find who I need in my life. I don't want your little cop. I want, I want, I want my end all be all. 
I want someone who's going to match me, if not be more, give me more, provide more, you know? Will they reach out to you? Absolutely. King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles? Yeah, for sure. It will be slow. It's not coming right away. It might be a year from now. It might even be two years from now. But they will. Will you reach out to them? No. No. Tower card and the five of five of cups. Absolutely not. You're like done. You're like burn the house down. I'm done. I'm done. You're done. What would be the outcome? <sighs> the outcome would be a bit back and forth. You have the you have the Seven of Swords and the Hermit card, Virgo energy, air energy. So if you were to if you were to communicate with each other again, this is the problem. Someone wouldn't be open. Someone would still be holding back. Someone wouldn't be completely honest. They would still be to themselves. And then you would have like a glimpse of what things could be if you guys were to be completely together, completely open, completely vulnerable, completely honest. But then I feel like things would still be kept under wraps. Like something from either, either someone here is still going to be holding back even after that glimpse of how things could be or something from the dark is going to come out that was never revealed. And so it's just a bunch of like ego energy. Like rockiness someone here to me is unstable someone here mentally is what i'm saying mentally and possibly emotionally is just unstable and so the problem lies with you trying to communicate but there are walls here there is truth that hasn't been spoken here and so maybe if you can get past that if you can get past the drama if you can get past all the layers you can have that that vulnerability that true care and love for each other but i feel like it would for some of you i don't know if it's worth it you know which we're about to look into is it worth it all right give me one moment All right, let me pre-shuffle this and then we're gonna go all the way from Aries to Pisces. All right. Ooh, hold on. All the way from Aries to Pisces. What would they like to say to you all the way from Aries to Pisces? All right, if you're dealing with an Aries, I've asked our friends about you. If you're dealing with a Taurus, you make me smile when you cross my mind. I know I messed everything up. I've been having flashbacks about you. If you're dealing with a Gemini, so many things remind me of you. If you're dealing with a fellow Cancer, Just being near you is intoxicating. I'm stuck at a crossroads with you. If you're dealing with a Leo. All right, a couple cards came out. I wish I could take back my words. I love you unconditionally. We will be together again. I wanna talk, but every time we talk, we fight and I'm tired of fighting. Virgo. Oh my god a lot of cards are coming out for you guys all right i look happy but i'm not please respect my boundaries i feel your pain i'm sorry this feels like hell if you're dealing with a libra i can't stand to see you with someone else 
I always loved you, but I was scared to tell you. Will you be with me? I'm sorry I hurt you. Scorpio. Oh, good lord. Okay. We need to let each other go. Songs remind me of you. I'm afraid to contact you. I will wait for a sign from you. You were the best thing in my life. Sagittarius. I replay our conversations over and over. Capricorn. It's time. Oh, <laughs> it's time for me to heal now. We are stuck in a cycle, you and me. I wonder if you're happy without me. Aquarius. I wish I could share my good news with you. And Pisces. Okay, this is like so many cards for Pisces just came out. Okay, please forgive me. I hid who I really am with you. I left before you could leave me. I couldn't let you get close to me. I want you. But I'm scared you may reject me. I look at your picture often. I want to feel that way again. I'm not good enough. I know that I crossed the line with you. And I regret lying to you. All right. All the way from Aries to Pisces. Let's look into is this connection worth exploring? Is it worth investing into? Ooh, all right. Cards are flying out already. All right. All right. If you're dealing with an Aries, mm, no, I would leave that alone and find love elsewhere. If you're dealing with a Taurus, no, that's over and done. Let me move these cards. If you're dealing with a Gemini, mm, no, no, I would cut it off. Walk away for now, at least, at least until you guys can have an honest conversation with each other. Walk away for now. Cancer, give it time, but yes, it's still worth investing into. Leo, yeah. Yeah, that's still worth investing into with a Leo. Virgo, uh, no, someone still has their guard up and they, no, it's just, there's too many walls there with the Virgo. Libra, as long as you two have time for each other and can allocate time to each other, yes, there is potential there with a Libra. Scorpio. I feel like someone here has a choice to make. With the Scorpio, I feel like someone here is guarding their heart. Like they're just, their heart is guarded too much. And I feel like this person is sh stuck between you and somebody else. And they're very torn between you and somebody else here with the Queen of Swords and the Two of Swords. And then we have the Six of Swords. So because of that, because their heart is guarded, because they might be torn between you and somebody else, I feel like you should move away from the situation. It's not worth investing into unless they come to you. If this person were to come to you, then yes. But I just would not pursue that on your own. I would not pursue that with the Scorpio on, on your own. Sagittarius... Yes, there is potential there for sure with the Sag. Capricorn. We have the um, uh, the Nine of Pentacles and the Temperance. Okay, with the Capricorn, if the situation was always one-sided, I would avoid going back to that because it might continue to be one-sided. If it wasn't one-sided and other things contributed to you guys separating... I see, I see potential there. There is potential there. I feel like this person would make sure that they can be who you need them to be and that they would help balance you out. So yes, 
with the Capricorn, depending on your situation. Aquarius, Hierophant, the Devil, and the Emperor. A lot of mixed energies here with this Aquarius. Because it's kind of like you have the best of both worlds, which is commitment and that like physical attraction and passion with each other. But the problem is you have the Emperor card here. So this person is like keeping their emotions at bay. Whoever this is with the Aquarius, I feel like this person does have feelings for you. They just have a hard time opening up about them. They do want to, you know, be loyal to you and be committed to you. And they also are deeply attracted to you. But the problem is that they just, I don't think they know how to express it uh, properly. Maybe they just didn't grow up that way or, you know, just compartmentalize their feelings. But there is potential there if you're okay with them not always coming forward and telling you how they feel. There is potential for sure. You would have the best of both worlds, but they might not always be vocal about it. And Pisces. Yeah. They would not only nurture you, but they would celebrate you. So yes, there is potential there with the Pisces. All right, that's all I have for my Cancer family. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, that information is down below, as well as ways for you to help support the channel. All right, thank you so, so much for watching. I love you. Stay safe, balanced, and healthy. And as always, I will see you in the next one. All right, bye-bye.